What is up guys? This is PC Gaming 300 back for another video and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to improve your boot time speeds, how to make your boot time faster so that you don't have to wait in your desktop for 5 minutes just waiting to use your computer and I'm going to be teaching you guys little tweaks you can do here and there to help improve that that, that boot time speed either drastically or just a little bit it depends on how your computer is running now the main factor in your boot time speed is your hard drive because your hard drive has to load up your operating system and depending on how fast your hard drive is that is what mainly dictates your your hard drives or not your hard drive speed but that's what main, mainly dictates how fast your operating system loads up but there's a lot of things within windows that actually do slow down your operating system especially as time goes on as your computer gets older and i'm going to be teaching you those things now the first thing the biggest most effective thing you can do is go down to the start menu or if you're on windows 8 you can go to the right side go to the go to the charms bar and search it up is to search up ms config just like this i'll zoom in so that you can see that and you want to click on it it usually it usually just takes a second to open up here we are you want to go to the startup right here and as you can see this is basically everything that is starting up everything that is ticked is basically what is starting up when your computer turns on and as you can see that's a ton of stuff and if you've never been on the screen before chances are everything on that screen is basically what's starting up so this is a big reason as to why your computer would be starting up slowly because basically your computer is actually just trying to load up all of these programs trying, trying to load them all up and then once they're loaded up they're going to be running in the background while you're using your computer and it's actually going to slow down your performance quite drastically especially over time so you can go through, I wouldn't, don't, don't uh, uncheck anything like Intel or anything from Microsoft and definitely don't uncheck Windows operating system. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, but just in case if some of you people do so, for example, Adobe Reader, Apple Push, Epson, Google Chrome, McAfee, QuickTime, Toshiba webcam app application. I don't need this stuff either. I don't need that stuff opening up when my computer turns on because um, I just don't need that stuff. You can just sc scroll through if there's something which looks important or something that you don't know what it is i would just leave it unless if it's something that is even if you don't know what it is you can tell that it's not important like for example for example toshiba comes with like this uh webcam app application i mean that's not something you need to open up and even if you don't know what it is it's pretty self-explanatory for example smart face watcher i don't think i need that toshiba zooming utility i don't need that opening up uh a bunch don't uncheck this intel stuff button support, flashcards, service station, I'll just leave all that stuff and just it's just a quick way of just unchecking unneeded things to be starting up when your computer starts up and not only will it increase, will it uh, not increase your boot speed, we don't want to do that, but not not only will it uh, make your boot time faster, it will, it, it will also increase your PC's performance because these programs aren't going to be running in the background whenever you're using your computer. So what you want to do after, after that, you want to hit apply then okay you're gonna have to restart for it to take the changes but you don't have to restart immediately you can just restart whenever you want so I'm just gonna hit exit without restart and then you can just restart whenever you want and the changes will take place now another thing and the rest of the, the rest of the stuff which I'm gonna be showing you is just mainly little things that will help you depending on the magnitude of it or the, the I can't think of the word but the amount of it I guess I could say that's the best thing I can think of right now I just can't think of the word so for example, these desktop icons, if you have like a full screen of it, that may be a reason. It may take about five seconds out of your, uh, make your boot time five seconds slower, having all these icons. So so what you want to do is you want to limit as much as you can. You want to just keep everything that you need. Like, actually, I don't even need a lot of stuff on this. I don't, I don't even use my desktop icons, to be completely honest with you. But um, just limit it as much as you can. Try to get the least icons which you can. And if you can't, what you can do is you can actually right click on your desktop, hit view, uh, go to view and then click over here uncheck show show desktop icons basically that hides all your desktop icons while you don't need it and if you ever want to access it you can just right click again go to view once again just hit that there you go it's back now another factor small factor in loading up your desktop is your desktop background as you can see this is kind of not no not really it's pretty basic but if you have something like a slideshow going on, like of a bunch of high def pictures, which is default with Windows, um, I would definitely, I would definitely change that if you're having boot time issues or if you're just having PC performance issues at all. So what you can do is you can right click on your desk desktop, go to personalize, and over here you can go to desktop background, and basically over here you can change your background. You can browse for your own pictures, 
and just choose a basic background, something that isn't too high def. Don't don't do something where it's like where it has a slideshow in the background of a bunch of high def mountain pictures. Um, that's just yeah, you don't need that. Now, another thing which you can do is this doesn't. I don't know if this helps you too much, but I usually just do it anyway. You want to go to your control panel, <clears throat> and you want to go to uninstall a program. Now, even though we want to MS config, there's a lot of crapware, as I say it. I mean, there's a lot of crapware that comes with your computer, and basically a lot of this stuff is usually trial software, which you're probably never going to use while the trial goes on, and even after the trial ends, basically it just stays on your computer and it runs in the background and it just a bunch of stuff. For example, if you have McAfee Security Center, as I have, unless if you're paying for it, I would just uninstall that. You don't need that. You can find a better one like Avast. I just reinstalled this pro this uh, uh, recovered this computer, so that has reinstalled itself somehow, so I need to get rid of that soon. And just a bunch of stuff which you don't need, for example, just find some other ones like uh, Norden or McAfee, unless if you're already paying for it, and if you are paying for it, you should just stop paying for that stuff. Uh, cancel your payments, or I don't know what you call it, but your contract with them, and just download a free antivirus like AVG, Avast is my favorite, but AVG works fine, Microsoft Security Essentials, and pair it up with something like Malwarebytes as well, and you'll have better virus protection than most of these paid programs. Just find stuff which you don't want, like, for example, like, maybe, actually, you know, never mind, I was gonna say OneNote, but OneNote is actually fairly useful, but just a bunch of stuff which you don't need, like this. Actually, Security uh, Site Advisor is actually not that bad, you can keep that if you want, but just a bunch of stuff which you don't need, you can just uninstall them. What you can do is you can, for example, you can go that, uninstall, there you go, and you may just speed up your computer. Now, those are the quick things, quick software adjustments which I've done. Now, the most effective thing which you can do is changing your hard drive. Now, if you're on a laptop, this is completely, completely irrelevant. Now, I'm pretty sure if you have a laptop, you can probably go to your manufacturer and upgrade it. Uh, for a faster hard drive now unless if you're doing some vid video editing or something that requires a fast hard drive There's no point in spending like an extra like two hundred dollars just for ten seconds of uh, faster boot time That just seems useless, but if you're on a desktop you can purchase pretty fast hard drives like a Western Digital Blue or something like that and you can buy a 7200 RPM Western Digital Blue one terabyte hard, hard drive and you can just buy that put it in your computer just fifty five dollars pretty cheap and you can just drastically improve your uh, boot times right there. Now that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, share, and favorite. What, what I also forgot to mention is that I'm now a YouTube partner, not a YouTube partner, but I'm partnered with Freedom, which I'm very excited about. Uh, I'm hoping that it turns out good. I've heard lots of great reviews about them, but um, what the hell? I hate it when this happens, right when I'm putting on my speech. Okay, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I just got partnered with Freedom, great network, I've heard, and I'm hoping to have a good time with them. So that's all I just wanted to mention at the end. Hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, you don't need to do anything. Well, if you didn't, if you hated it that much, you can dislike it if you want. If you liked it a lot and you want to see more of the same, you can hit that subscribe button. If you want to help me out in promoting my channel, you can share it. If you really liked it that much that you want to watch it over and over again, 10 times a day, you can also favorite it so that you can watch it whenever you want. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all had a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time.